Hey people, it's me, Mike Martins. What a gorgeous day we're having today in beautiful Merrick, British Columbia. It is the second week of February, 2022. While the rest of the uh, Northeast is under huge grips of cold, not everywhere in Canada is cold. We're headed to an early spring. Anyways, what am I have to talk, what am I have to talk about today? Well, I have to talk about a few things today to be, let's get very serial now. Let me get serious with you guys and get serial. Now, today I would have the pleasure and the treat of meeting a guy that knows everything. Came into the store today. He was standing right here, came, looked around, kind of, it felt like he was testing my knowledge on things or what my level of equivalency is on what is going on. So I just asked him, I said, hey, I got some good news. Province reviewing public health measure as Ontario's COVID-19 hospitalizations drop below 2,000. You know what he told me? Because this guy knows everything. He works for the government. Listen to what he said to me. That because of the blockages of trucks and truckers and big rigs, people can't make it to the hospital. That's why the COVID cases in hospitals remain low. I said, what about that thing where you go to the hospital regardless, regardless what you're in for, they mark you down as COVID. He's like, that never happened. It's all racists that are spreading those vicious rumors. That's what he said. Okay, so that's good news. Hey, look at this. Hey, rah, rah. Rah, 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 rah. That's good news. Yeah. So then I showed him the video I made about England rolling back all its mandates after Scotty Morrison was at a party getting drunk and partying it up real hard. And the, a week after, Scotty Morrison, instead of getting tossed or kicked out of Parliament, he went ahead and rolled back everything in England. You know what he told me to the answer to that? It's because 96% of England is fully vaccinated with the booster and their healthcare system is three to four decades ahead of us in Canada. It's a treat to meet people that know everything to anything. Then I asked him why, this is what I asked him, I even wrote it down. Why is the CDC telling people to do what Texas did 12 months ago? And his answer to that was because 98% of the population is vaxxed now. And he went on to say that tens of millions died in Texas and Florida. And it's not being reported by the right wing Nazi news is keeping a cover on it. And he's talking about mass graves in Florida and Texas that they're covering up. Like mass graves. It's incredible. The knowledge that some people know is just phenomenal. They have an answer to everything. Then I asked him. Has he ever known anyone that got injured from the jab? He doesn't. He does not know anyone. God bless him. But the people he does know that have been injured, or not injured, the people he does know that have passed away or in a hospital are not jabbed. It's phenomenal on the mentality, how people, they just have the answers to everything. Woo! Woo! They just have the answers to everything. And I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted. I'm just, I can't, you should watch last night's, guys, link below to last night's Mike in the Night. Watch the first hour of it. I have people calling me and saying, holy crap, Mike, you went full kook the first hour. It's like I was actually unloading some sort of hate or some sort of, not hate, but this buildup of this, this toxic venom inside me of this, this, carrying all this bs see i work in the front like i work in the front lines so to say in the front lines of the private sector i just paid my provincial sales tax i pay my bills i have a notice of assessment i got re re reassessed again from last year i gotta pay more money to the government and i'm in the private sector the government doesn't pay me right i have to make sure i cover my nut and do what i have to do but what happened was, man, I think yesterday's Mike of the Night, I really, um, really went off uh, yesterday. Kind of, we're on Rumble too, guys. I, I upload the live stream after Odyssey onto Rumble if you guys want to watch the replay on Rumble. If you want to watch it on TV. I had quite a few people saying they want to watch me on TV. So you can watch the replay on TV. The live stream will remain on Odyssey.
Thanks so much, guys. Thanks so much for people coming in and and one announcing their their jab status to me. I didn't ask them. The door is wide open. Walk in. You don't have to come in here and announce your medical status to me because I don't give a rat's ass. Two, the, 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 the pleasure and the treat of someone that could answer everything off in a second and uh, have the answers to everything when it's required. And it's almost like this programming. I'm programmed. Sure. I'm not going to doubt that. I don't doubt that one bit. But I see things from the other side. But people like myself that see things from the other side are considered dangerous. Racists. Misogynists. They can start calling me a truck driver too. Because everything, the way things are headed right now, and anything and everything that becomes analyzed and broken down, you're going to get obviously a spin on the media to make it fit the narrative. Regardless. Hospital stays going down. Oh, well, because we've miraculously, and they're going to look like the heroes. The mainstream media, medicine, the big pharma are going to actually parade themselves around as we are the heroes. We did it. And for those that didn't follow and, and get their arms jabbed or whatever, you're the bad guys. Anyways, we'll see how things unfold in the next few years it's going to be a very interesting turn of times i'll see you guys on the flip side mike martin's here i have spoken